voices from the past are being brought back to life to give the world a glimpse of history made in Los Alamos during the Manhattan Project. One of them, Robert Oppenheimer, who's among those called the father of the atomic bomb for their roles in creating the world's first nuclear weapon. The bomb was detonated on July 16, 1945 at the Trinity site at White Sands, about three years after the team was officially assembled. Now, the Atomic Heritage Foundation has released audio recordings of Oppenheimer and other top Manhattan, Manhattan Project leaders and scientists. Oppenheimer talks about the choice of Los Alamos for the project, saying they needed somewhere scientists could come together and speak openly and work in unison. He also talked about the choice to build the lab on the Mesa. It was only that the other site, which was deep in the canyon, had in fact, even for our initial plans, inadequate room. But in my, also my feeling was that if you're going to ask people to, to be essentially confined, you mustn't put them in the bottom of a canyon. You have to put them on the top of a mesa. <laughs> well, that was, I think, more important even than the technical. Thank the interviews were put on the Voices of the Manhattan Project website and the ongoing efforts to share the long hidden secrets of the Manhattan Project included in the interviews the trouble the scientists had working with plutonium and uranium. If you want to hear the complete interviews, we've put a link at krqe.com.